and a new AI tool is taking the tech world by storm. It blows my mind. It's called ChatGPT, and things it can do are mind-boggling, at least to me. Here to talk about this, our tech expert and buddy, Dave Hatter. Dave, first of all, welcome. We, we sort of hinted that we were going to talk about this. We emailed about it, what, about a week and a half ago, something like that. Are you as amazed by what this can do, as amazed as I am? Yeah, it's some pretty wild stuff, Bob. You know, we've talked about AI before, and, you know, I'm constantly trying to follow this space and understand what it's capable of, not just because of the impact on society, but because we use this kind of stuff in our work and interest. So, yeah, it's pretty wild. It's got some amazing capabilities, and I think it's a lot more capable than probably most people would realize unless they've tried it themselves. Yeah, and I, I think I've only really scratched the surface into what it can do. And for those who don't know, if you ask it to write an essay, it'll write an essay. You can ask it to write computer code, and it'll write yep. it'll write computer code. And, and the thing that amazes me the most, Dave, is it's not it's not like a, a search engine. It's not like it's going out onto the internet and finding a thing that you've asked it to find. It's creating it sort of from whole cloth, in essence. What kind of concerns yeah. should we have about that kind of technology? Yeah, Bob, we've talked about deep fakes before, which really get back to the idea of synthetic media, which what which is what this is. So when they trained this thing, the GPT part stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, right? They fed this thing lots of inputs, uh, billions of inputs, and that allows it to use this natural language processing model where, to your point, you can ask it a question, write me a song, write me a poem, write code that will do X, Y, or Z and it will respond. Now, it's not always correct, and there are some really hilarious examples out there where people are trying to trip it up on purpose. But as you mentioned, like write an essay. You know, a lot of schools now have already banned this because it makes it easy for students to say, you know, write an essay about Nikola Tesla, for example. And it'll spit out an essay, and to most people, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. I mean, unless, of course, the essay is at a much higher level than a student was capable of, you're going to have no idea that that's completely synthetic media generated from whole cloth by a computer. It's, it's pretty amazing what it can do, and this is really just in its infancy at this point. And that's one of the amazing things to me, is you could even tell it what to be. Like, write me an essay that an eighth grader might write in order to fix perhaps some of those issues of making yourself yeah. look too smart, right? Yeah, you're exactly right. You could say, write a song in the style of Mick Jagger and it'll do it. Now, it's probably not going to come up with something as good as Mick Jagger could. And I've, I've tried a lot of these different things just to see what the results are. And each time you try it, it's currently free. Each time you try it, you know, you're feeding into its model. You're training it how to do better each time. And it's interesting because Elon Musk is one of the founders of this. Microsoft has made a huge investment in it. And Microsoft is, is now looking at embedding this in their office products. So this is not going away. And I, before we run out of time, Bob, they're currently working on the next version. As I mentioned, this was trained with billions of inputs. The next version will be trained with trillions of inputs. So if you're amazed by what it can do now, and this has some really interesting implications for things like phishing and cybersecurity, uh, look out for the next version. It should be really mind-blowing compared to what this is currently capable of. Only the beginning. Dave Hatter, as always, I appreciate the discussion. I have a feeling a deeper dive on this is coming as well, buddy. Thanks for joining us this we morning. Always my pleasure, Bob. Thanks. Take care. It's uh, 842. We'll be right back.